Because the problem we have right now is because for the last 25 years or more, we have been so concerned about what God can do than who God is. And the church has been filled with children, kindergarten ministry, what God will do for you, what God will give to you. And then many of us are not ready to even draw close to God. Listen to me. There's a difference between the gospel of salvation and the gospel of the kingdom. And for decades, all we have done is preach the gospel of salvation and raised children and children cannot take the land. The world is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God, not the children of God. And it is only sons that can take the land. And as many as are led, they are what? Sons, not children. Children are not led. They are led by their feelings and their emotion. You see, the gospel of salvation is a legitimate gospel, but it's a kindergarten gospel. The gospel of salvation is the gospel that reveals to you what Jesus did on the cross and what he has made available to you as a result of that. So the gospel of salvation helps you to understand that now you are a new creation. God wants you to be healed. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to be delivered. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to live long. That's the gospel of salvation. And there is nothing wrong in that. But it's elementary gospel. So after the healing, what next? After prosperity, what next? So the gospel of the kingdom is the gospel of maturity and discipleship. It's the gospel of responsibility. Now that you are saved, this is the reason why. Now that you are healed, this is the reason why. This is the gospel that helps you to now discover purpose and live for him and fulfill assignments. But what we see is people looking for the hand of God instead of looking for the heart of God. And when you are looking for the hand of God, you are just concerned about what God will give to you instead of doing all you can to please the heart of the Father so that he can give to you what he wants to give to you. The heaven is his throne. The heart is his footstool. So if the heaven is his throne and the heart is his footstool, where is his hand? His hand must be hanging somewhere in the sky. And what we are trying to do is to jump to collect what is in the hand of God. But when you please the heart of God, he brings down his hand and tells you, my daughter, pick what you want. So instead of trying to jump to get the hand of God, 